Swaby's a successful businessman, but he dropped out of university. Gordon Swaby, you've got to explain that. You're attending the University of Technology, and he's a dropout, sir? Yeah. Why? Yeah. So it was not as obvious as it seems. Uh, it was more of a progressive uh, decision. Uh, I started EduFocal while I was at UTech. In fact, when I was around 13 or 14 years old, I started what I called my life wireframe. And it was essentially plotting or how I wanted my life to be for the next 20 or 30 years. And one of the things that I wanted to do before I graduated from school was to start a company. I had no idea what that company would be, but I know I wanted to start a company. Turns out that that company was EduFocal. EduFocal. So EduFocal Limited. So started the company while I was at UTEC, but I realized that I'd been class and I'm thinking about balance sheets, profit and loss statements, income statements, and I'm like, wow, I'm not focusing on, 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 on class. And what started to happen is that both started suffering. Both EduFocal and my classes started to suffer. My GPA started to suffer. So in 2013, we got um, an equity investment from a Googler, um, uh, from a guy by the name of JJ Gilax. And it was at that time I said, you know what? I'm going to take some time off from school mm. and I'm going to focus exclusively on growing the company. That was 2013. It was 2013. It's now 2018. So in the summer of 2013, um, things were growing. Uh, the company was growing. We were doing well. And I said to myself, you know what? Um, I'm going to make a conscious decision to not go back. Um, and I remember when I made that decision and it, it, it's, it was September 2013. And I said, wow, I feel like a bum. <laughs> I feel like that, you know, I feel like I'm wasting my life because we've been taught so long that if you're, if you don't have a degree and if you're not in school, then you're not, you know, you're not doing well at life. And it took me a while to get rid of that feeling. Um, and after that feeling, it eventually passed. And here we are in 2018. And a I successful businessman. Absolutely. I, I am very happy. Um, and so I'm you have no regrets for having stopped your course of study at the University of Absolutely Technology? Absolutely not. Um, you know, I've. Thankfully, UTEC has acknowledged my work in many ways, um, and they continue to do so. In fact, EduFocal is based on UTEC's campus. Um, so even though you did not complete your degree or graduate, you have had n awards and recognitions Absolutely. from the University of Technology. Absolutely. Your name is synonymous with technology and, and being innovative in the use of technology. But life was not always that easy for you because you seem to have had a little problem when you were a young man, young boy, mm -hmm. reading and writing. What was that about? So it was more than reading and writing, actually. Um, it, for, you know, because of the household and the family I grew up in, you'd expect me to have always excelled at everything that I was doing in life, you know, from early on out to later on in my life, but that was not the case. I was a dysfunctional child, very, very dysfunctional. What do you from mean? So at prep school, that dysfunctionality manifested itself in me being a bully. You know, I'd always get into fights at school, and it, it followed me right up 